Hello and welcome to yet another electrifying episode of GSC at Home. I'm James and today we're talking all about computers. Now computers are an integral part of our day-to-day -day lives. They've managed to work their way into our TVs, into our cars, even our fridges and even some of our favourite toys. Can you think of any unusual places that a computer might be hiding? Yes, computers are everywhere, and for some people, myself included, building computers is actually a hobby. We love to collect parts that we've purchased online and stick them together to create some really amazing machines. But it's a little bit of a myth that only the smartest and most intelligent people in the world have a chance of understanding how any of this works. And to be honest, when you look inside, it can be quite intimidating. But I'm here to tell you that that is simply not true. Computers like this can be understood. All we have to do is break them down. So in the spirit of computer building, I thought it would be fun if we built our own computers. But I'm going to build my computer out of Lego. So here are all the parts that I need for my Lego computer. And it might still look a little bit intimidating, but do not worry. I'm going to break all these parts down so we can understand how my computer works. All right, let's go. The first thing we're going to need is a base to plug all of our parts into. And that is where this big green board comes in. This is what we call the motherboard. And this is where everything is going to slot into place. Now, if our computer is going to do all the amazing things we want it to, we're going to need to give it a brain. And that is where this part comes in. This is what we call the CPU, or Central Processing Unit. Now, this teeny tiny chip is very smart and will eventually control everything that our computer will do. Unfortunately, the CPU needs a lot of energy and it gets very, very hot. So if you're looking for one in a real computer, you might find it stuck underneath a little fan or a radiator like this. Also, despite being really, really smart, the CPU is very bad at remembering things. So once we plug it in, we're maybe gonna need some other parts to help it out. So to help the CPU remember things, I am going to add this big block to our computer. This is called a read-only memory, or ROM. But you might know this thing better as a hard drive. Now, hard drives are the long-term memory of our computer, and this is where all of our computer's memories are going to be stored. So if my computer needs to remember how to bake a cake, it'll look inside the hard drive where that information is saved. Hard drives are like notebooks, where you write all the things you want to remember. But the problem is that in order to find that information, you need to turn over every single page, and that can take a very long time. To speed up this process, I'm gonna add these sticks here. These are called random access memory, or RAM. Now, the RAM is the short-term memory of our computer, and as such, can't hold information for very long. But unlike the hard drive, it can find information very quickly. So when my computer needs to find something in the hard drive, rather than having to look through every single piece of information, it can use the RAM to find it much faster. If the hard drive is a notebook, the RAM is the contents page or index, something you refer to in order to find the information you want faster. So let's install these and see how they go. So now that we have our RAM and our ROM installed, as well as our CPU, we now need to give our computer a job, something to think about. 
So for my computer, I want it to be really good at playing video games. So I'm going to install this thing. This is what we call a GPU or a graphics processing unit. Now, this little brick will help my computer think about 3D graphics and display them on a screen, allowing me to play all of my favorite video games. But of course, you don't have to add this to your computer. You can add anything you want. Maybe you could add a rocket to blast your computer into space. Or maybe you can give it wheels to go off road. How about an ice cream maker? But just be careful not to spill that on any other components. Okay, so that is my GPU, and I've also added a little Wi-Fi card so I can get internet as well. All that's left is to power our computer, and for that, you are going to need a power supply, something like this. Now, my one needs to be plugged into the wall to work, but yours could be powered by batteries, it can maybe be solar power, maybe even a dragon could power your computer. However you power your computer, you will need to plug it into your motherboard so that all the components we have get electricity as well. And there you have it, all your computer components working and powered. Just flick the on switch and you're good to go. Believe it or not, this is how real computers work as well. Looking inside my desktop computer, you can see that it's not too different to the ones that we've just made. Can you spot and name all the parts? Hopefully, after watching this video, you'll be able to go away and make your very own computer. You can use Lego like I did, or you can use anything else. Draw it on a piece of paper, make a model out of modeling clay, or use cardboard. However you decide to do it, remember how your computer thinks and what it thinks about. Is your computer a dancing computer? If so, what is it going to need to let it dance? Hello, James! Ah, hello, Harriet. You were in the Bubbles video. Yes, I was! But I'm here to talk about your computer! Wow! It's an amazing specimen! Oh, thank you very much. I'm very pleased with it. Yes, you should be! It could be the greatest computer in the world! Yes! Oh, oh it's for you! Oh, yes, no. Wait, 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 wait a little, little kiss. Oh, yes! Uh, thank you very much for tuning into GSC at Home. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you do build your very own computer, please send us those pictures. We'd love to see them. And as always, please keep sending those questions and comments. We'll try to answer them as soon as we can. Until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you at 10 o'clock for the next GSC at Home. Goodbye!